Hi all, welcome to this SBC Goats a SBC guide. Hopefully you find this useful folks. Let me know in the comments down below if you've done the SBC Goats at all. Definitely looks a nice looking card. 87 pace being given a plus 5 on his base card. So if you looks pretty awesome, sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All the links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. Now in regards to this, I've not 100% nailed down his price yet looking at it. But looking at it, fairly straightforward, 80k worth of packs. Now I would quite honestly say, looking at it, it's like a hundred k, 80 to 100k spend. Um, in terms of looking at it, guys like Savage, Carvajal, uh, sorry, um, Carvalho, even Carvajal is not too bad. But Javi Martinez is probably the most likely player that they will use for people will use for this, because it is very very easy to link up a La Liga squad. Like Ilara Mendy, Benega, Saul, uh, Benzema, Carvalho, and Vic like Victor Reed, we only just put him at left back because we were like, who is an 82 that's not too expensive at say most 1500 coins? And I, and I thought he kind of stood out. Savage is fairly cheap, you can get him for like 1500 coins. Asensio's a couple K. Like realistically, when you break it all down, like the back four is maybe say. 12k, 12, 13k, 12, well 12 to 15k will just be more precise because you might say 6 for Carvalho, you might say 6 again for Jimenez, then say like a thousand coins each for um, Savic and Ruiz, but Sol is probably one of the more expensive options, he's like 10, 11k, Alana Mendy's like a 3 or 4k, Benega's only about a thousand, so you're not really breaking the bank too much. This route, you need an informed Casillas, eh, sorry, Casillas seems the most logical. Liga Nos is the most logical for this way as well. Now, I'm really looked at this, and I honestly think that this team still, even though I've put um, Pereira and PZ at the wrong side of the team, because I feel Pereira should be at left mid, and then PZ should be at right mid, eh, right, well, right centre mid. Um, even though I've got Grimaldo in, I think this team can work with Tellez at left back, you then will need someone cheaper at right back. Your problem is from right back, you kind of then need to get rid of, you need to get rid of the Kimmich, but if you have an 82, my feeling is do you then end up bulking up, but then your problem is that you, you need to keep three German players, so do you end up going three Bundesliga um, German players, or where do you kind of take, there's not many options really, that's the biggest problem. I looked at Gundogan as well, you could even maybe look at Gundogan and Kadira in midfield, but it's trying to make sure that, in my personal opinion, I feel the back, the front three should be Brahimi, Jonas, and then say like Chervy or Salvio or someone like that at right wing. You've just got to kind of get the team to work. There is bits of play, but it's difficult. That's why I'm just trying to show you as well in the video, just to give you an idea. But I honestly think, from this, you're kind of struggling a little bit. Like, Almaida obviously doesn't work because he's too low rated. Defender-wise, in the Liga Nos, even going Jardel just doesn't really... Like, you've got to use his UCL card. Nobody's going to use the UCL card um, to do it, unless you've got him cheap or he's untradeable. But it definitely gives you some food for thought, folks. As I said, I'll go back to the original route. This is what I kind of think would work. It would be too expensive. Brahimi's like 5k, Jonas is a couple k. But let me know in the comments below if you're going to do this. I'm definitely doing this. I'm not slipping up on as I did with Juan Fran. Smash like as always. Sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at Legend, And I'll catch you all later.